Welcome. This is an Innovations Technology Solutions video and it goes along with the blog post Writing Better Shell Scripts Part 1. What I'm going to do in this uh, video is step through using Bash DB which is a Bash Shell Script debugger that has some similar functionality to GNU's uh, GDB program for C or C++ programs. I'm going to use an example script that's called buggy script.sh and um, that's what we're going to use, step through uh, with bash db. So in order to start buggy script in bash db, I just type bash db oops buggy script.sh and hit enter. I see the license and copyright information here at the top and we see an error unexpected end of file. Now, typically this is an error that's caused by a construct not being closed out like a fee, an if statement without a fee or a case statement without an ESAC and uh, we need to get that taken care of before bash db is really gonna gonna tell us too much. So I'll type quit. Uh, you can also use the letter Q to quit from bash db that puts me back at the command line. I'm going to clear the screen here and uh, I'll do vim buggy script to go in here and I see that I've got an if statement without a fee down here at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and add the fee statement. I'll uh, save and exit and then I'm going to go back into bash db again. Now we see uh, that bashdb has come down here and it's told us exactly where we're at, which is it's given us the full path to our script uh, and it's told us what line we're on. We're on line number eight. Now here as well tells us what line we're on and then it shows us the statement that we're on, which is the uh, first part of that if statement that we just closed. So to move to the next instruction, I'm going to type step, hit enter, and I get an error here. It says um, bracket uh, dash z uh, command not found. So there's something wrong with this test statement that's part of the if. I look at it and I see that there should be a space on both sides uh, between both of the square brackets and what they enclose. So instead of hopping back out to Vim and editing the file in there, I'm just going to type edit here on the command line, hit enter. And uh, since I have the editor environment variable set to um, Vim, uh, Vim in my case, uh, I'm just going to, it takes me straight into Vim. Uh, I have to type visual to go to the normal mode that I want to edit in and you notice that um, it looks just like a, a normal Vim session because it is. You can treat it the same way, uh, the same type of operations, everything. So come up here and I'll add the space and go ahead and save and exit and it puts us right back at the bash db prompt. Uh, what I need to do when you make an edit like that is you either need to type restart or use the capital R command and that reloads your script and restarts it from the beginning and this puts us right back at line 8 again. You can see that our change with our space here has been added so I'm going to go ahead and step and you can see we don't get that same command not found error anymore. Um, we What we do get is as we come down here is it shows us that we're in the same script of course we're on line 13 now and shows us the statement that's about to be executed I'm not seeing any errors yet so I'll go ahead and hit step and after I execute step I notice that there's a little bit of a problem here because there's a blank right after the value is there should be um, a numeric value or a, a string value right after that. So I'll go ahead and type edit again and visual 
And notice when we were in bash db, it told us what line we were on, that we were on line 15, and it showed us that we were on this num equals zero line. And when I typed edit, it started editing on the line that we were on in bash db. It tells vim to skip down to that line. So the line of interest that we got the error from is up here. It's this echo statement. And you can see if, if we look above it, there's no uh, a statement anywhere that sets value 1. So what I'm going to do is come up here and set value 1. Uh, for our purposes, it doesn't really matter what it's set to. I'll just set it to the string 1. Save and exit. And I have to do a restart again. It restarts, gets us back to line 8. Do a step. And here we see our new statement. It's uh, setting value 1. I don't have any errors or anything, so I'll continue to step. And now we see when we do step that time, we see the value is 1 because we've got that, that value set for our variable up here. So now we're stepped down on uh, num equals 0, which is uh, setting the loop counter for our while loop. So I'll do step. And that's the first statement of our while loop is here with our uh, loop counter variable num. So I'm just going to continue to to step through this for a few iterations here. And I notice that um, after I do this for a while, that the while loop isn't exiting, and um, I, I can't really see from the output of bash db why that is. So what I'm going to do is go into edit again. And I scroll down here. And in order to find out kind of what's going on, I'm going to add an uh, echo statement, echo dollar sign num, to show me what the value of that num variable is. So save and exit, do the normal restart thing, and step down through it. Everything still looks normal. We get to our while loop, and uh, we get to the echo num statement. Here's what we've the statement that we've added. So I'll go ahead and do step, and we see that that line outputs zero. Okay, so step, sleep one, sleeps for a second. Uh, step again. We can also, for step, you don't have to keep typing step each time. If you've already typed step, you can just hit enter and it will re-execute it. Get to echo dollar sign num again. And here's something kind of interesting is that uh, num has not been incremented. It's still zero. So as we're going through this loop, if num is always zero, it's never gonna reach a condition where it's not less than or equal to 10 so the loop will never exit. So I wanna do another edit here and uh, since we we're on the sleep one line that's where it automatically started uh, the edit and I wanna go ahead and get rid of that uh, echo line and since I want the uh, num variable to increment, I'm going to go ahead and use arithmetic expansion here and say num equals dollar sign num plus one so that it adds uh, one to num each time around the loop. And I'm going to go ahead and save and exit. Do restart. And just continue stepping down through here looking for problems and I think I've got the problem fixed so what I'm going to do is use the continue command so that it'll run either to the next breakpoint or to the next error and just let it run you notice we get our normal output from our script here which is testing and once num reaches that value of uh, uh, where it's greater than um, 10, 
the script exits and that's why you get this output here debug program terminated normally press uh, or use Q to quit or R to restart so we know that our program uh, ran properly the while loop condition was met so it exited and our script exited so and with that that actually fixes all the problems in our script and this has been an innovations technology solutions video and again it goes along with the blog post uh, writing better shell scripts part one there's a lot more information about da bash db including a command reference in the blog post uh, so please have a look at that there are also some uh, uh, great bash db resources in the resources section and uh, there's also an audio transcript that you can listen to that covers uh, built-in debugging for the bash shell uh, in from several different angles and uh, covers uh, bash db in uh, more depth so uh, as always we'd love to hear from you so uh, leave a comment in the comment section or send us an email thanks for watching